The following is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. The first day was miserable. We had arrived in a thunderstorm, and of course we had to go looking for tarballs in the rain. We traveled from Pensacola, Florida, to Gulf Shores, Alabama. My name is Brian James, and in the summer of 2011, I got the chance to go with postdoc Christoph and research assistant Catherine for three days to travel 500 plus miles by car along the Gulf Coast from Pensacola, Florida to Grand Isle, Louisiana to do field work. The purpose of the trip was to gather oil samples one year later from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill to study oil weathering, or the degradation of oil by biological and natural processes. In Pensacola, tarballs were few and far between, so we asked a lifeguard in the pouring rain if he knew anything. We were seeing these little, like, sand patty, like, oil uh, yeah, sand oh, yeah, okay. Are there any around at all? Tarballs? Yeah. yeah. Um, actually... We haven't seen much lately. I saw one about, some lady came up to me and had one about like maybe a month ago, but that was about it. I couldn't believe I was going to the Gulf to do field work. I was working as a volunteer for the summer in Chris Reddy's lab at Woods Hole. I wasn't a scientist. But my role in the trip became the photographer and research assistant. I documented the samples and our experiences. A great story is when we returned to the lab and were unpacking our samples. We told Chris Reddy that a composite sample still smelled like oil. He said, you're joking, there's no way one-year-old oil still smells. It would have degraded at this point. He took a look at the sample and saw the reddish coloring which is characteristic of Deepwater Horizon oil, and put the jar up to his nose. He couldn't believe it. We don't know the story of this oil, but that's what we're going to find out in the lab. The second day was beautiful. We had sunny skies and nice weather. We traveled from Gulf Shores, Alabama to Waveland, Mississippi. On our road trip, we took the ferry from Fort Morgan to Dauphin Island, which was the only ocean cruising we did the entire trip. Tarballs are hard to find because they look like any other stone on the beach. This is an interesting one here. A shell filled with a... Oh yeah. yeah. That is one? Yeah. Oh, I just walked past it. I thought that was a rock. On Dauphin Island, I found my first, second, third, fourth, and fifth tarball. Of course, when we returned to the lab, it turned out they were only mud. Like prospectors with fool's gold, I'd been duped. Besides searching beaches in Mississippi, we searched around jetties for splotches of oil. To my surprise, we found that several new jetties had oil. There were large differences between the jetty samples. Some were thick chunks of degraded oil, while others were like paint scrapings. The different amounts of degradation were responsible for these differences in the oil samples. The third and final day was hot. In contrast to the clean white beaches we saw across the northern gulf, those on Elmer's Island were littered with flotsam and dead fish. This made identifying weathered oil even harder. In Grand Isle we found tarballs that were unlike anything we had seen before. They were much larger, the size of apples, instead of the smaller grape-sized tarballs we had been finding. They also had the consistency of, like, semi-melted plastic instead of the oiled sand we had been finding. We didn't know what to make of them at first, so we asked some locals what they knew. Yeah, y'all yeah, serious? Just, y'all serious? Hey, y'all go to that end over there, like, by the state park. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what we're planning to. After traveling 500 miles by car, taking 3,000 plus photos, collecting over 100 samples, all in three days, it was nice to relax back at Hui. I learned there's a big difference between lab and field research. I also learned that you don't need a boat to do oceanography.
To learn more about Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.